Happy Thursday and a warm welcome back to Lizelle Wellbeing Instagram Live. Something a little bit different for you. In fact, this I think is the first time that we've ever done this. I'm super excited. I'm sitting here with hair that's just kind of freshly washed and not looking great. And there's a reason for that because it's about to be transformed into looking totally magnificent because I have one of the world's leading hairstylists right here in my studios, Michael Van Clark, who I know you know and love for his fantastic product range. Brilliant, beautiful salon in Mayfair. I've talked about it before. I took his products away with me in Italy to protect my hair in the sun. And he's got something very new and very special. This is like so, so interesting because it's an amazing product that has been years and years in the making and he's gonna be talking about it here today. And lucky me, I'm gonna get my hair done and you're gonna see it live. So pop your comments in if you've got questions if you want to ask him anything make the most of this time that we've got together we will of course save this live so if you want to watch on catch up or you're watching later in the day do watch to the very end and of course you know there will be the big reveal but I really can't wait to get started so before I am just going to add in Rachel from my team who will be here as moderator so if you've got any questions about Liz Our Wellbeing, about the podcast, about any of the lives that we've done, any of the Liz Loves, of course we do have a fantastic Liz Loves discount on all Michael Van Clark products, including the brand new one that we're going to talk about today, 15% Liz Loves on his website. So do go and check that out, but don't go and do it now because we're going to have so much really good stuff to say. So thank you for all your hearts. Thank you for your wave, sending lots back. Yeah, I'm growing my hair long. Yes, yeah, so I really want to talk to Michael about that because obviously this hair has been around a bit and it's had quite a lot of damage, sun, heat treatment, colour, all of that. But without further ado, Michael, would you like to come on and make an appearance? I feel I like we ought to have some I sort of drum roll. You are Hello, so everyone. welcome. Everybody, this is Michael Van Clark, the man himself. Before we start, do you want to just say a little bit about you, about your background in hairdressing? Uh, well, my background goes back a long way to the uh, late 70s, which was, I think, the rock and roll era of hairdressing. <laughs> Um, and yeah, you know, I've been in hairdressing now over 45 years. Wow. Uh, I've loved every minute. Yeah, um, you've seen some I, changes too. And I've seen some incredible changes in fashions and the way hairdressing's become more professional. Yeah. Less so in some ways. Um, but I've never lost my love of hair. Yeah. And, uh, I well, hope I can show you some tips today. Oh my gosh, we are so excited to actually have you because your knowledge is extraordinary. And I have to say, your salon is beautiful. Your team are amazing. So thank, thank you for you being much. here today. Okay, so I have literally this morning, I got up, I washed my hair, used your shampoo and conditioner. I've got no styling products. I just left it. This is me, totally au naturel. So what are we going to do? Well, I, I'd like to talk about um, you know hair in general as well because you're growing your hair. Yeah, uh, I yeah, think I've it's, decided it, to. It, it, it's growing really well. You've got great hair, but a lot of people don't understand that the hair that grows out of the scalp is no longer connected to the metabolism. Right. So whatever happens to it on the outside is taking something out of the hair. Okay. So some of your hair now is coming up to two years old at the end. So two years is a lot of cycles of heat styling, washing, colouring, uh, UV, sun, yeah. swimming. It, it's all taken out of the hair. And if you really want to maintain condition so that you can grow the hair longer and keep it healthy, you have to put something back. Right. And I know you're very disciplined about the treatments. Well, you know, I, I took your UV Lifesaver with me. I actually took the big bottle. You know, I was very disciplined about my packing, but I thought, no, the big bottle is going to come with me because I used it every single day. Yeah. You know, and people I, do on holiday. They yeah. are more dis disciplined about it. And often they come back with better hair than when they left. Yeah. Which is surprising when they spent time in the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so hopefully it's protected. I mean, do you think it's in reasonable condition? I, I, think, I think it's good. The fact that it's got nothing on it and it's no. been washed and left. Yeah. I think, I think it's doing very well but mm -hmm. what I'll, um, I'll I'll show today is uh, some tips on blow drying great because from from a, a salon point of view something that I see in, that causes a lot of damage probably the, the most damage to hair is uh, heat styling at home mm -hmm. people that um, maybe don't have the skills to do it quickly mm -hmm. safely mm -hmm. and some people that think that hair can just keep taking it which it can't, you know, the hair does get weaker, thinner, and then start to break. Yeah, I'm um, conscious of that, because I do use styling tongs. 
Yeah, which so are really hot. I mean, occasionally I burn myself, and I go, "Wow, that's hot!" And of course, I'm applying that extreme yeah, heat that's to right. this dead hair. And but you know, we want to do things to our hair. Mm. So you know, it's not about not doing these things. It's about um, learning how to do them more safely right. and perhaps less frequently. Okay. And that also comes down to condition because where you don't have good condition with the hair, you have to work it harder. Yeah. And yeah. that becomes the vicious spiral. Yeah, you know, especially becomes... if you've got colour treatment or, you know... Yeah, and colour like takes its own um, punishment on the hair as well. But yeah. there are better ways of colouring. Some people over-colour hair. Some colourists tend to overlay colour much too much on hair. Mm. Mm. And hair can only take so many cycles of colour. Yeah. So all, all these little things that you know we look at when we're looking at someone's hair, how can we improve the way this is being done, the way that's being done? And that all translates to better quality hair. Great. Okay, well, let's talk about your brand new product. I see there's some questions coming in here about heat protection. And you've got something, I mean, it's an extraordinary product. You've just shown yes. it to me. It's, yes. it's this, this little beauty. It, it, it's called Eureka because, um, I mean, Eureka is Greek for sort of well. I found it, um, yeah. And, <laughs> the Eureka um, moment. I think that really came at the end of a, a real struggle to get the product that we wanted. It was four or five years wow. of lab work um, really with awesome. COVID interrupting yeah. um, and 16 variations wow, back really? to the lab, which is very unusual for our product development. We normally get what we want in two or three revisions. Yeah, it's very so light. Just a lovely... Very light smell. It is. It is. It's a, people feel it and it actually feels it's a very natural product. And, and this was the, the real key. People have been asking us to do a heat protecting product. The, the problem is that nearly all heat protecting products use silicon or plasticizers. Oh, do they? Uh, to, to protect the surface of the hair. Mm. So that's like a shield for the heat. But the problem with silicon and the plastics is they bury themselves into the hair and build up over time. Okay. And they being hydrophobic they push out the water so slowly slowly they dehydrate the hair right. so you end up with hair that's heavy and brittle so you might have protected it from the heat but you've yeah, actually but really actually slowly slowly um, damaging the condition the hair. And, and we didn't want to go there so we we wanted something that was naturally based yeah and that's why it took so long but we we finally had a formula with a, a product Eureka. um from a plant actually in south america where they managed to extract an ingredient which has fantastic heat protecting properties but is all natural Go on, and, and i think that's on. where a lot pop of the science is nowadays um <laughs> yeah. extracting ingredients from natural sources that before they would just reach for silicon or reach for a plastic yeah because it's easy and it's cheap cheap, cheap and available okay, yeah. um but there's a lot of investment now going into devising new ingredients for hair care and skin care. So you're going to put this on. My hair is very slightly I damp. I'll show you. I'm, I'm, okay. going to, I'm going to slightly damp the front here. So we're going okay. to go backwards slightly. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to soak it down. But I just want to show um, how we would prepare okay. hair. And I'm not going to um, wet the back. Yeah, it's still a little bit damp. So I just really want to show a few techniques for blow drying. Mm -hmm. This is very exciting, I have to say. Could you come every morning? Yeah. <laughs> so again, when, when people are blow drying their hair, they, they often make the mistake of putting all of their energy and effort into the parts that don't matter very much. Right. I.e. underneath at the back. So they'll start underneath at the back. Yeah. And by the time they get to the really important parts, which is around the hairline here, they're exhausted and they rush that. Yeah. So whatever time you do have, most of the effort should be on this part here. Mm -hmm. Any extra time should be the tips of the hair. Right. And if you really enjoy blow drying hair and want to really work it through or have to, yeah. then the underneath at the back. Okay. But hairline number one, tips number two, underneath at the back is last. Okay. And I really learned that from uh, photographic work, you know, doing magazine covers and things where you literally have five minutes to get a look wow. and you learn to work really quickly yeah. to get the look that needs to be photographed. Yeah, yeah, at the front. So I've got nothing, nothing so in my nothing hair. Nothing in there yet. So no. just, just damped with a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. So we'll recreate as if you've um, 
washed yep. your hair. Yeah, just and put you're, out of the you're shower. Ready to style. I love your brushes. I have to tell you a funny story. This mm. this number one brush. Mm. I got a couple of these, and I had one with me in Italy. And my son, who's thirteen, is getting seriously into his hair now. Bless him. When I was leaving, he said, um, "You're going to leave your hairbrush, aren't yeah. you?" And I was like, <laughs> "No, that's my hairbrush." Yeah. Yes, but none of the other hairbrushes work as well. So you've got a new fan. Yeah. That's great. They do cause some family squabbles. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy a whole more set of brushes that uh, that he can use. Otherwise, because mine just literally kept disappearing every time I went to my bedroom. It's like, where's my hairbrush? So heat protection. This this product, okay. two to four pumps is enough. And that's called Eureka. This is Eureka. This is the heat protecting okay. product. You spread it across your palms mm. here. The idea is that you want a thin film across all of the hair. So you spread through your palms feed onto the hair. All over. All over, mm -hmm. and then very, very importantly, comb it through. Right. Because you need to spread that product okay, across, that's probably what across I don't the do. hair. I probably don't do the combing bit. I think I just sort of rub it in and hope for the best. Yeah, but it's the combing. <laughs> and, and the same when you're shampooing here, when you put conditioner on, you have to comb it. Right, Because okay. you really just want a thin film over all of the hair. Mm -hmm. And you won't get that just from applying it with your hands. Right. So and always I, damp hair? Put it on damp hair. Damp yeah, hair. Because it will spread better. Okay. You know, if you put it on dry hair, you're much more likely to have concentrations and gaps yeah. ac across the head. Okay. So on damp hair, comb it through. That's, that's protecting, mm -hmm. but the beauty of the product is that it also has UV protection, it has shine enhancing, it um, holds curl, any wave or curl we put into your hair, it will help it to stay longer. Brilliant, real multitasker. Yeah. I mean, I was actually reading your label, you probably can't see it because it's a little tiny print that comes out backwards, but it says blow dry balm, heat protecting, frizz deferring, super hydrating, bond repairing, faster drying, shine enhancing with body and swing. I mean, that is, that is a bit of a Everything list, isn't want. it? Everything in one little bottle. And I imagine this is going to last if you're just using yeah. two or three pumps. Yeah. You know, that was not much. And you've done my whole head. I've got quite a lot of hair. I've done quite a lot. So with blow drying, it depends what style you're doing. Most people want the hair to feel like it has a, a vibrancy, a life. I'd like to, to get it. rid of the frizzy bits. And to get rid of the frizzy bits. Yeah. But what the roots are doing is very important. If hair is allowed to dry plastered to the head, mm. it will end up feeling a little bit stiff, like it's not quite free and vibrant. So in, in taking out the moisture, we would always just gently lift the roots to allow all the roots their own space, so that that then gives a, a more alive feeling to the hair. Mm. And that, that's how we would take out moisture. We wouldn't attempt to blow dry hair from soaking wet, it's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. And chances are that it would over dry and you wouldn't need to do that for the hair. Mm -hmm. So we take out a lot of the moisture, different for different hair types. And we are, we are slowly going through, keeping the diffuser moving mm -hmm. and releasing the roots. Right. So on your hair, I'm gonna put a little bit of a thickening lotion on the top here, just to give a little bit of lift up here. Yeah, I do well. like, otherwise I find my hair can be a bit flat. Yeah, so this goes on after. The Eureka goes first because that penetrates deep. Right. The thickening spray is more of a surface product mm -hmm. to give texture. Okay, so always the Eureka balm always first. Always the Eureka right. first. A bit like a makeup primer then. So whatever, whatever else you're putting on in terms of styling, the Eureka goes on first. Okay. And that's your blow dry spray? This is our Thicker Quicker, which is again one of the hero so, yeah, products. I've got this, I've got this Thicker Quicker. That's what it says on the bottle. And then I'm just going to show um, a large round brush. Mm -hmm. The other one I had, yeah. I've got Michael's trusty assistant I've just off camera. camera. Thanks, Millie. Yeah. <laughs> come with all his tools in the bag there we go okay so that's a round brush yeah so the round brush this is a bristle brush mm -hmm. you know, it's what the professionals would use it's not as easy to use as a brush with very few nylon bristles right you know those are and they're shorter those are designed more for home care mm -hmm. they're they're more forgiving if your angles are 
a little bit haphazard. Yes. They're less likely to tangle. Okay. These do require more skill to, to follow an arc that mm -hmm. keeps the hair in line, mm. but you get a much better result. Okay. So this is what the professionals okay. would use. But so first, while, while you're doing that, I can just see a question coming in saying, how often should you wash your hair? Um, I have fine, uh, fragile, thinning hair that doesn't grow well. So that's Alex who's asked that. Well, there's a couple of issues. Uh, with, with fine hair, it, it, it's really how often you feel it needs to. Daily washing is not a problem. Okay. If you're using good quality products mm. and you're air drying, it's no stress on the hair. The, the stress on the hair is usually the drying and drying hair aggressively seven times a week will right, cause yeah, more damage enough. than twice a week. Sure. So that, that should be a more of a deciding factor, but the actual cleansing of the hair and scalp yeah. daily is absolutely fine, yeah. if Great. that's what suits you. Great. So I'm gonna just take a little of the moisture out here. So that's a diffuser. That's a diffuser. So I'm, I'm lifting a little here as well, just to let the air get in. Sorry about the noise, kind of can't be helped. Just a little. So we're just lifting, yeah. lifting the hair so we're, we're to lifting, get the dampness out. While, while we're drying, we're just releasing and lifting. Okay. And that's going to get a bit of body and lift, isn't it? In into the, the roots. Into yeah. the roots. Yeah. So they don't dry plastic to the scalp. Yeah. So it's going to give me a bit of volume. And what do you think about using a hot brush instead of a hair dryer? Well, again, I think, you know, these things have made life easier for a lot of people. Mm. And that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, but again, just be conscious that heat is heat. And, you know, you, there, there, are, there are ways to use them more safely. Yeah. Not to yeah. overdo it. Yeah. Use the, like, protective balm. Um, use the protection. Mm. And mm. don't overwork hair. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes people, if they're not prepared properly with their hair they tend to overwork it yeah unnecessarily and, and that will cause unnecessary extra heat mm -hmm. so what i'm going to show you here is a section to take into the side here mm -hmm. and you'll notice the section's going down here right so by going down <clears throat> when your head is normally up the eye line doesn't look down that section if you take a square section you will tend to look straight down that. And if your two sections aren't blending properly because of how you've blow dried, mm. then it's gonna look quite obvious. Whereas by taking an angle, it's only really at the front that it needs to join to actually cover that. Okay. But, it, but it also yeah, follows the line of the scalp, the curvature of the scalp. Okay. So what we would do here is, um, lift the hair high and this is important as well by lifting the hair up here when the brush goes in you get control of the short hairs around the hairline mm, okay if you're down here yeah yeah that's what I would there's do. actually no tension here mm. and also those short hairs are going to get blasted everywhere so you don't really control what happens to these so always with a section you, you want the brush to land almost as if it's a roller uh -huh. sitting on the section. Right there. So your section yeah. shouldn't be wider than the brush. Okay. This way or this way. Mm -hmm. And the angle should be such that the brush lands on the section. Right. Then when I pull away, you'll feel there's tension, mm -hmm. but it's not painful. No. Do you feel that? Yeah, 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 I can just Whereas feel it. Whereas if the, that's because the section's neat and it's at the correct angle mm -hmm. across the whole section. Okay. When, when people take an irregular section and, and bits are brought in from over here or over here, mm. as you pull, the, the extremities are taking all of the pressure. Right. So either it's very painful or you let go of tension because yeah. of the problem here and yeah. then you don't control the blow dry. Okay, so, so a nice neat section. So working neatly and taking your angle here is a really important part of smoothing hair properly. Mm -hmm. Now your hair is quite smooth anyway, but we still want to have control on the section here. And I would actually spend a little bit of time just at the root, just mm -hmm. to control that before I, I release the tension. So that's dry, come down slowly. And 
end towards the middle end to make sure I'm finishing the ends cleanly. Yeah. If, if you find the ends are looking pretty, it may mm. be because you drive them at the right angle on okay. the tip. You haven't followed through fully right. at, at the tip. So then my next section is again at an angle down. Mm -hmm. So that then I have full control of all those short hairs here yep. and the irregular pattern of the hairline. Now that little island of hair here is very important to the finished look. And if, if the brushwork is all here and none of that's controlled, that will stay pretty. Okay. And maybe made even more pretty by the action of the dryer. Yes, you're getting right up close. Yeah. So I'm really yeah. making sure that that is done properly first before mm -hmm. I release all the tension. Right, and then you pull it out to do the, yeah. the length. So, okay. so then I that, think I'm that's probably controlled. far too quick. I don't spend enough time doing yeah. that first little section yeah. by the roots. But I think, I think that first inch around the hairline mm. is the most important. Okay. I'd rather get that right and let the rest dry naturally okay. if necessary. Yeah. You know, especially if we're going to tongue or something. But the most important part is really just that first inch that, first that leaves the face. You know, that's the most critical part of, of anyone's hairstyle. Okay. And this is your brother, Nicky Clark. This is one of his hair dryers. One of his hair dryers. It's a see, great yeah, hair dryer. Piggy's asking. Um, it does all, has all the functions that we want. Yeah. And it's quiet. Nice. And, and it's very modern technology. Yeah, it's nice. Very neat. Yeah, very, very neat. It, yeah. it really was a bestseller to the point where yeah. I don't think they have any more left now. Right, they're working on a new one, are they? Yeah, there's a new yeah. one coming next month. Great. Which is Do you and your brother get on? I mean, or is there that kind of professional rivalry in hairdressing? Um, we've had our moments in our life. <laughs> That's but, very diplomatic. <laughs> but he's actually working with me now. Is um, he? On a Thursday. At, wow. Um, at our salon. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, and, I have to come um, in and say hi. It's funny, actually. And, and actually, currently, there's a book being written about the two of us. Our, is our, there? Our, our relationship. Which, um, as I said, I've had it back nice. and down. But, uh, yeah, but you've we're, survived we're and close. obviously come very, through very better close. than ever, which is, yeah, that's so nice to hear. So there, yeah. we see that that's actually more controlled. And then we just do a final finish of that section mm -hmm. here. Just so that's smooth. Now, whether you wear the hair back, Mm. or whether you wear the hair covered here. Yeah. What's important is that with this irregular hairline, all the hairs leave in together in a natural way, that the, the angles don't suddenly go like a car crash mm. around, around mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So it actually makes it look much more natural. Yeah. So all yeah. I will do now, I'm going to repeat it here, two mm -hmm. sections, mm. and then two sections on the top, mm. just to give a little bit of lift here. The rest we're gonna do with tongs. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Fine. But I think um, you know, the point about concentrate your efforts on the hairline, yep. you know, it's, it's the biggest payoff for the, the least effort and don't worry too much. Don't about worry too much about the back. You know, yep. If you have time, if you love blow drying, um, then it's fine, but yeah. don't ignore the most important part. No. I mean, that is the bit that people see, isn't it, the front? Yeah. yeah. If you find the whole, the whole style. Yeah. So your salon, you're being asked, it's in Mayfair, in... What's well, in Marlebone? Um, Marlebone, Marlebone, isn't it? Yeah. Some the whole thing as one. It's yeah. very central. You know, technically Mayfair is a five minute walk down the road. Right. Um, yeah. But, uh, How long have you been there? This is our 35th year. 35 years? Been in the same salon? Yeah. That's amazing. It's, we've enlarged it since then. So, um, well, it's beautiful. It has a yeah. lovely vibe. It has. It, it was a gorgeous building. And you can actually drink Negronis in your salon. Yes, we have a very good <laughs> chef and barman. Amazing. You've actually got a license. We have, yeah. And so when time. I come in, I can buy organic farm eggs from reception. That's, I mean, it, you, you've got it all, haven't you? We have special things, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. We're lucky. We're lucky. Well, you're fortunate, um, you know, and you've created something special, you know, because you care about it, and I think that shows. Okay. So, am I going to need any other styling product? You use the thickening lotion by the root, and obviously we've got the Eureka. Um, you know, is this going to hold? Is that, the Eureka going to help with the with the blow dry? 
that gives hold of curl. It doesn't give hold of. Um, it doesn't make your hair bigger as you hold. It doesn't give that type of hold. Okay, so but it, it holds it, the curl. It will hold, it will hold the curl that you put in. Um, and what's lovely is it, it's, it's a light product as well. You know, a lot of people have abused it. You know, you're talking about they can't believe it's so light and yeah. it does so no, much. No, no, I mean, I, my hair here that you've dried with it feels super light, really soft, very shiny. It feels silky. I don't think I've ever felt my hair, to yeah. be really honest with you, quite so silky. Yeah, that, that's the hydrating element of it. You know, it's nice. Really, really soothing the hair as well. So it's doing good. Yeah. It's adding something good back into the hair Absolutely. as well as protecting and defrizzing. Because there are a lot of frizzy type products on the market and presumably they're silicon based. Virtually all of them have, yeah. have, a, have a silicon sheet that goes over the surface of the hair and slowly, slowly makes the hair heavier and straighter. Yeah. Which is what silicon, silicon does ultimately. And, and that's really where, where they were designed. They were designed in the very um, sort of straight hair days of the 90s, mm -hmm. when people wanted dead flat, straight hair. Yeah. So piling silicon on was sort of all fine as part of that, people didn't mind. But now people want natural body in the hair, or a bit of weight. Yeah, and smoothness, silkiness, softness, and health, I think, above yeah, all else. Exactly. You know, to your point, silicon yeah. makes the hair really heavy. That's right. And it builds up, you know, that's why you get these kind of silicon clearing shampoos, because people recognise that it's not a good build up, is it? Yeah. And it's going to dull the hair ultimately. It is, but uh, again, there, there aren't any shampoos that will clear silicon in one. You know, right. they, they will attempt, but silicon stays around for a long time. It, it yeah. buries itself very deeply into the hair. Okay. A couple of questions I can see coming in here. You're not using a nozzle, is there no. a reason for that? Um, it's not necessary. The, the, the tip of the dryer is small enough. Sure. Um, nozzles can over concentrate heat. Yeah, the and nozzle will really concentrate it into yeah. that little beam, which so maybe not so good. You can take a very hot dryer and make it three times hotter with a nozzle. Um, wow. Most professionals are not skilled enough to really control of the dryer at that heat and speed, at that, yeah. you know, let alone when you're doing your own hair. I hadn't thought about that actually, yeah. that a nozzle concentrates the heat. So much. So be careful. Occasionally maybe if you need to, but, yeah, but, uh, but, not, but not every day. Yeah, they can speed things up for very mm -hmm. thick, frizzy hair, mm -hmm. it's very smooth, you know, they can speed things up, you have to be careful not to over dry. Yeah. Because over drying is, is what causes the damage. Yeah. yeah. Amazing, so simple, just that little move. So, you know, that's really, you know, without worrying too much about the rest, I'm yeah. just going to smooth the tips at the, at the back. Yeah. Just making sure the hairline looks right, mm -hmm. defines yeah. the whole look. Yeah, doesn't it, completely. You know, if you've got the hairline right, the tips, the tips are, are smooth. And the tips. It doesn't matter too much what the rest is doing. And in some ways, leaving the body of the rest, mm -hmm. it becomes the look in itself. You know, you could deal with it with a little bit of product, with a finishing product, and not have to worry too much about um, blow drying. Really. You were saying that the Eureka actually speeds up drying time? Well, that wasn't, that wasn't one of our requests, but mm. it's one of the, the sort of side benefits that we nice. discovered, and a lot of people Great. using it have commented on, is that it does speed do it up drying. Quickly. Gosh. So, um, and that's great for people that um, are, are time precious. Yeah, like yeah. All of the I love that. It's so simple, but my hair, I mean, I do look, I mean, you are the master, but I do look as if I've spent, you know, a couple of hours in a in a top Maribu in salon, and actually it's just been a few minutes. Yeah. So <laughs> then, then what I'm doing now, Maybe later, the Nikki. hair's not 100% dry, because I've, you know, I've, I've allowed the lid, yeah. lid length to um, still be a bit damp. I've not gone through every section. So I'm yeah. just now gently air drying with a little bit of help mm -hmm. just to make sure that the hair is finished off now. Yeah. And that also helps keep it natural looking. Yeah. So I can see that body. Okay. And that and that and that's a great point as well. You know, the natural body in hair is something that you know is usually lovely. And 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 the blow drying is trying to reshape that. Mm -hmm. But if you're um, too energetic with blow drying, you end up taking out all the natural body, 
yeah. trying to replace it with artificial, and that's when it looks like a, it's too done. Yeah, 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 you too know, it, done. It, it's keeping everything that's natural that's good, reshaping where necessary, mm -hmm. but not doing any more than mm. you really need to. Now, do you think we're going to finish off with tongs, or would you leave Entirely it like that? Entirely up to you. It will take a couple of minutes. We can do a tongs look to see something different. Sure, sure. Let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's do, do that. that. We're running let's out of time, but I think everyone is really enjoying this. So, yeah, let's let's do it. Because I sometimes use flat tongs. I'll show you the ones I've got here. Yeah. Sometimes I'll use almost straighteners. And, and they, like they work tongs. as well. Yeah, and to twist. And that but they are too. hot. I mean, I'm really aware that they, I'm damaging my hair. They are all hair. hot. But again, you know, in moderation, if you're tonguing your hair, every day some people twice a day the chances are you need to look at the haircut okay you know the haircut's probably working against you if, right. if you're wanting a, a wavy look okay but in themselves you know if they're used in moderation you know they're very useful mm -hmm. I, I deliberately don't use my tongs every day you know i'm quite aware of my hair <laughs> i don't want it to break off especially as i no. grow it and you know no. to your point this hair at the end is several years old and yeah. you know has put up with a lot already so using what they the barrel tongs the these big, are barrel, the big tongs. barrel tongs so this would just okay. give a, a very soft barrel curl mm -hmm. and you just start you start in the middle and wind it round yeah i'm not not okay. putting too much body into the roots no okay yeah there's always a danger to you burn your scalp if you go so too not close. Going for yeah barbarella <laughs> not today yeah. not today Actually, while you're doing that, because I'm conscious that we're running slightly out of time, what I'm okay. going to do is I was going to talk at the end that I had lots of comments, no, actually, no. from Tuesday on this Organifi, the green juice powder. If you didn't see my Instagram live with the, one of the formulators who's worked on this, do watch it. It's full of ashwagandha. Lots and lots of green things. Michael, I know you're married to an amazing lady who takes nutrition super seriously. Serious, and personal trainer. Yeah. Personal trainer. She's just genius. Do you do juicing? Are you a green juice fan? Uh, I, I haven't got into green juice, but we, we have our own sort of, uh, you know, I, I think we eat pretty healthy. Yeah. Not puritanical. No, no, um, no. But, oh, it's all balance healthy. and moderation. Um, well, I'm going to actually ask you to try this in a second. I'd like to. Because this is, I've just made it up here. Look at this colour. It's amazing. And I was really impressed with the ingredients. It's got adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha in it and turmeric. I don't know whether you take anything like that, do you? Um, yeah. I, mean, I think all that's that's great stuff. It's really helpful, actually. I have to say, ashwagandha is one of the ones that I tried. I think and, nature uh, has so much. Oh if, my gosh! If you, if you learn to discover or rediscover what else, you know. Yeah, what, in what, its whole form. Uh, sorry, whole form. So not just sort of little synthetic yeah. extracts, but kind of the whole compounds. Well, this is organic ashwagandha root, wheatgrass powder, moringa leaf powder. I mean, it's just got loads of stuff in it. And most of these that I've tried, and I do try quite a few, they taste um, actually not so great, if I'm really honest. But this, I'm hoping, well, we're gonna see, aren't we? I'm gonna give you a live taste test. Um, I actually think it's pretty good. It's sweetened with something called monk fruit. Don't know whether you've come across that. It's a natural sweetener and it has no calories. So I think this whole juice serving, both of this together is like one gram of sugar. It's amazing, really, really low sugar but it's quite sweet. Do you want to break off for a sec? What mm. fantastic multitasking. Well, yeah, we, can, we can do it all here. We can How hair, lovely. style, Cheers. juice, Cheers. live. Cheers. And it's quite minty, I should have warned you. This is a minty flavor one. That's lovely, doesn't it? Mm. Where's the sweetness coming? It's lovely. It's monk fruit. Yeah, it tastes sweet. It tastes like it's got, you know, loads of sugar or honey or something in it. So anyway. Awesome. Good, oh, well done. Well done for doing that live, for, for being brave enough to trust me. What's, what's she giving me? <laughs> uh, well, just to say, if anybody wants to try it, it's from this website called health.com, H-E-A-L-F, health.com, and there's a Liz Loves. Not on everything on health, sadly, but there is also on the Apollo Neuro, which you can see I'm wearing here, and a couple of their brands that we've had here on Liz Our Wellbeing, and this is one of them. So if you want to try it, then um, I do recommend it, and Michael thought it was okay too, so that's good. Okay, so back to hair. So you're working around. Will you do the whole head then oh, using the barrel? I can do. We can do no, one no, well, side we, and we you can, can go asymmetric. Yeah, okay, why not? Asymmetric. Yeah, yeah, why not? We can, we can take a vote on which, um, which look people prefer, maybe. 
I love it. So your team are on actually asking questions, which is great. I think the questions don't get saved and the answers when we repost, but presumably you're quite busy on Instagram. So if people have got questions, they can we, message we'll you. Answer. You can direct yeah. message. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, you guys are so knowledgeable. What are your best sellers at the moment? Um, well, the best sellers, the hero, I mean, there, there's lots of hero products, but mm. the, the, the key hero that suits everyone is Lifesaver, the, the pre wash treatment. Okay. And um, I can give a, a little reveal because no one knows this yet. Okay. But um, our best selling ultra version, mm. we've had um, lots of people demand in a litre size. Okay, a litre size. And it's not released yet, but actually, we do have it this oh my week. Oh, gosh, I've just been which handed is, it. Um, Look uh, at this. A whole chunk of gold. I mean, that is, I mean, that is testament to the power of a product when people mm. want it so much that they've asked for a whole litre of it. When is this launching? Um, first week of September. Okay, so make a note, guys, if you love this. That One litre of the, it. The gold standard in treatments by the press. Really? And this has got yeah. cashmere protein, is that yes, right? Yes. Amazing. Amazing. I do really see a difference when I notice, and I feel a difference in my hair. So interestingly, when you tong, you're creating the curl, and then you're just leaving it. You're not. You're not brushing it out. Uh, that's that's a choice. You know, okay. There's, um, you know, you would can, you leave it to cool? Um, I, I would run my fingers through. There's mm -hmm. all different ways of um, wearing hair. Yeah. You know, how much you tong it? Whether you tong the ends, uh, whether you leave the ends straight. Um, there's so many ways you can you, you can do it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I do like I do like a bit of a tong. I like a kind of a bit of a beachy wave. I think especially yeah. in the summer, that kind of beachy tously look. What do you think about sea salt sprays? A lot of people will use um, like kind of sea the salt. The problem with salt on hair is that it's corrosive, so you ah. get a lovely effect, but it's yeah. actually not great for the hair. Okay. Um, you'll get a better effect with our lifesaver leave-in treatment, which will give you the beachy effect. Right, without but, the damage. But, yeah, give you a treatment at the same time. Perfect. Well, that's so, the best um, option. And that, that's uh, another best-selling product. They're all good. I also love the shampoo that you have that smells of roses. Yes, Angelica Rose. Angelica Rose. Yeah, yeah that's one of my favourites yeah. too. So, okay. Yeah. So we've got two looks going on here. Right. So we have... I'm going to loosen this a little. Mm-hmm. And it looks natural, you know, it doesn't look too done. It looks healthy, it looks shiny. You know, I can run my fingers through it. But it still looks quite polished. How long would this last, do you think? Well, the, the Eureka will help that stay in better okay. as well. Um, it's it's going to be different on... Uh, yeah, because my hair's hair. quite heavy. You'll, you'll know better, um, but that, sh that should last a few days. Yeah. Being asked here, what starter shampoo or conditioner would Michael recommend? For your hair? Well, for anybody in general starting, does it matter which, which they choose? I think for their hair type. So, okay. you know, we, we will have a, a volumizing, okay, uh, moisturizing, UV mm -hmm. protective. We have specialist ones for scalp, okay. um, balancing, nice. cleans, cleansing, exfoliating. Mm -hmm. uh, we have silver shampoo for blonde hair. Mm. Um, and over the years, we've really just um, worked on everything that we need to use in the salon mm -hmm. for all hair types. Right. So yeah, go and, go and check really, out the website. Actually, it's got maybe, lots um, of info. I tell you what would be great. Actually, mm. just if you could turn around and show the okay. back. To, Never shown um, the back of my head on yeah. live before, but here we go. Yeah. Here, here we are. are. How is if it? If you come forward a fraction. That way. So yeah. So that's um, you know a very quick easy way of getting the hair smoother and remember we've not blow dried the back we didn't need to no if we're going to tong all i wanted to do was make sure that the ends were smooth to go around the tongs right but, but the rest of it's really just about blow drying the hairline and then we tong the hair and that, that's actually worked out really well love it okay so like the other side done Maybe, maybe after, because we have to go. But I, what I would like is to hold you to what you said earlier about coming here every morning. Okay, I think I did hear a yes, so that's okay. good. <laughs>
Brilliant. Thank you so much. You are absolute pleasure. genius. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. And thank you for all your questions. We will be saving this, of course. Time to go. Just before I do go, don't remember, don't forget to remember that True Grace, you may have seen that this is the place that I went with my team. We did candle making. We did a candle making workshop. Brilliant British soy natural wax candles. They smell amazing. This is wild lime. It's absolutely sensational, but they've given us a discount, 15% Liz Loves, but just until the end of August, which I think is the 28th, the discount code runs out. So if you want to grab some amazing scented candles, they also do candles in all colors. So if you want some tall, beautiful dinner candles, they've got, I don't know, like 30 different colors. Really, really lovely British brand, properly made. I've been there, it is lovely. Well, I'll be back with you live on Tuesday after the bank holiday weekend. I hope this has given you some nice inspo to have a great weekend. And we're moving from hair to the face. I'm gonna be back with one of my favorite people, one of my oldest friends in the beauty business, none other than Kerry September. We're gonna be doing a live makeup tutorial. How great is that? We're gonna be doing hair and makeup and all lovely girls early things so I hope you've enjoyed thank you so much thank you for your hearts thank you for all your messages I look forward to seeing you back here same time same place Tuesday next week have a great weekend bye bye